Hey everybody, it is JoLynn Oblack here. I just wanted to do a really quick video to show you how to set up your Catch.me account, uh, which, if done correctly, will record, store, um, and give you a lot of other cool features for your um, Periscope broadcast. So now you don't have to worry about the 24-hour rule that Periscope has uh, in terms of deleting your replays. So let's get right into it. Um, to get started, you're going to want to go to your catch.me account, and it's connected with Twitter, so you can sign up with Twitter or you can sign up with an email address. It doesn't really matter. You're going to be asked to confirm your email settings, which is um, quick and easy to do. And then what you're going to do is go to settings, and you're going to go through and click off a couple of important settings um, on your account before you start using Catch. So instead of going through all of these and just reading them in, out of context, I'm actually going to run over to the website right now and I'm going to show you really quickly how I've done mine and I'll show you a couple of people um, who I follow their accounts and you can see what some of their broadcasts look like on catch.me. Okay, so while you have these tips in front of you, um, I'll put a link to this presentation so you can download these slides going forward and you can have these next to the video. Um, but I'm going to pop over right now to catch.me and I'm going to walk you through this. Okay, so the website is catch.me. Um, and this is what it looks like um, when you're on the web website. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do um, is either sign in. If you're not new, sign in with your Twitter if you've already set it up. But if you haven't, you're going to go to login and set up, and you're going to go through those really simple tips that I talked to you about a minute ago, uh, which is just to provide your email address or connect with Twitter and then authorize your account. So let's pretend you've already done that. This is my account. I've actually had a couple of different periscopes, which are mostly test periscopes for this training. Um, but I'll show you some other people's accounts so you can see what it looks like. What you're going to do is actually go right up here to the right where it says um, settings. And you're going to click on that. You're going to input your email address, whichever one you want to have as your main email address. You're going to identify what service you want to use catch.me for. So obviously I'm not a Meerkat, but I'm on Periscope, so you're going to click whichever one is appropriate. And here are some of the settings that are really important for Catch. In order for Catch to catch <laughs> your broadcast, um, you need to either use the hashtag, hashtag catch in your title of your Periscope, or you can click this on, which I have, and it'll auto-catch all of your streams. And that's a really important feature. So it gives you one left step. You don't have to put the hashtag in your title, although I still do and other people I know still do. Um, so you might do that just to be safe, but if you do this and you click this, you should not have to do that. There's just one more thing you have to do to make sure Catch knows you're doing a broadcast. There's also a feature, uh, an option here to auto-approve audience requests. That means that if anybody is in your broadcast stream and they mention Catch with the hashtag in a comment, that'll actually trigger Catch to record your, your um, Periscope. The reason I don't have that enabled is I personally don't want every broadcast necessarily um, out there um, for other people to see. It might be a private broadcast, it might be one that I thought I could do better, or maybe shaky camera syndrome, or I may want to just repurpose it on YouTube and send it out my own way. So I don't want people to necessarily enable um, catch unless I want it enabled. So leave that unchecked if you just want to control um, who's able to catch your stream or not. Um, I always keep auto catch stream checked. The other option you have down here under notifications is that when your catch video is ready um, for your followers that you will get a notification and it will share out through your Twitter. Again, you may or may not want this out there because you might want to control you know, who sees what when. Um, and I'm sort of that type of person, so I really don't want there to be a notice about a replay being available because I want to put it on YouTube. I want to do some um, other things with it. I want to do some editing, and then I'm going to put it out. So depending on your preferences, which obviously you can change these settings at any time, um, you may want this unchecked. So you're basically going to share, uh, uh, save your settings, and you've pretty much in less than like a minute and a half, you've done everything you need to do for catch. The really important part of, of, of this is that you know that catch isn't going to just know when your stream is up. You have to actually set up your broadcast um, and you have to tweet it out. 
at the beginning of the broadcast because they only record it when it's live. So if you do it before or you try to do it after because the broadcast has ended, catch won't catch your screen, stream. So it needs to be an active broadcast that you've tweeted out. So when you first set up your, your Periscope, you have the option to have Twitter enabled. So what you want is to make sure is Twitter is enabled. If you don't enable Twitter and if there isn't an auto post, an auto notification to your Twitter timeline about your broadcast, catch will not catch it. Um, and this is something you learn when you've done a few of them and you're like, why isn't it working? Um, so that's uh, just a really quick tutorial about catch and how you can use it. I'm going to go to, um, a friend's, of course I can't spell her name right, um, catch streams. So you can kind of see what the features are on it. Um, uh, one of the, 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 um, okay, oh, yeah, I know that's not right. Okay, totally, Laura. One of the things that, um, there she is, things that I love about Catch is that there's some additional features, um, that, that are really kind of cool. So this is what it looks like when it, you've done it right, and you've got your Catch stream, um, and let's just pick, um, let's just pick one of them. Um, so you have your play button here. You can see right here that you get uh, a list of all of your followers, everybody who is on your um, uh, on your stream, which makes it really easy for you to go to right Twitter and do a thank you message to them for even joining, which is a great tip. You always want to stay connected with your followers and say thank you on Twitter for joining my broadcast. So this is a great way to come back and make sure you remember everybody who's on here and say thank you. Okay, so it'll show you how many people have watched it live, how many hearts, how many comments. And really cool is that you get to share if you want. Someone can share or embed your video. You can do it as well on your website. So that's one way that you can repurpose your content is to do a blog post about your uh, about your um, Periscope, add a tip sheet or check off you know a couple of tips that you were mentioning in the video. Um, and that's a great way to keep it alive on your website. Um, so the other cool thing is once you push play, you have an option to fast forward. <laughs> so, so what if you don't want to hear the intro? You know, what if you're watching a lot of videos and they're just doing 20 minutes of introductions? I mean, Laura doesn't do that, but if, if I wanted to just get to the content, I get to move it forward. Okay. Which is really cool. So one of the options you have for your, your library is that you get to decide, and I can't show you because I'm this is not my library, but you are able to delete these. You're able to control the privacy settings. That means that if you want a video on here, but you want it private and you just want to keep it because you want to be able to use it for something different, but you don't want it viewable on your catch stream, you can actually control the privacy settings here, which is pretty powerful. So what I tell everybody is that no matter what tool I recommend or talk about, I want you to check the terms of services, make sure you're comfortable with how they're going to be using your content. Um, and if you have an attorney or somebody who can look through that, that's even better. Um, from my understanding of the terms of service, it's not much different than anything else online. You know, if you're on Facebook, um, you know, there's uh, all types of things you've got to be worried about your, in terms of your content. Um, you do own your videos, but they can also use them for marketing purposes. Um, and since I'm not an attorney, I'm not going to give you any advice in that area other than to, um, you know, talk to somebody who is more knowledgeable than me about what that means for your business if you do have your videos on catch. Okay, so what we did is we went through um, the specific features for how to set up, um, what features you want to turn on and off, and I also walked you through a little bit of the the um, uh, broadcast uh, viewer, which is what you saw, that gives you tons of options in terms of interacting with people who are watching the replay on catch. So I hope that helped you. Um, if you want more resources and tools, this is a page that I've put together specifically for you. Anybody who's learning to start to use the app um, and they want a little more resources and, and you know, tool recommendations for me, whenever I do broadcasts, they're going to be available through here with a link to my YouTube because that's where I put all of my broadcasts that uh, I want people to see. Um, and this page um, also has a link to a freebie that I'm giving away to people um, who join my list who want to stay in touch with me and see more of my trainings and tools that I, I just love Periscope, but I talk about other things related to online marketing. So uh, if you stay in touch with me that way, you'll be aware of all of my shenanigans um, and we can stay in touch, which is cool. So what I'm going to do right now is just show you um, 
exactly where it went, but I'm going to find it. Hmm. It's not there. Well, uh, anyway, you can go to jolineoblack.com forward slash Periscope. You can download uh, the freebie I mentioned. You can get access to my past scopes. I talk about a couple of cool tools as well. Um, so feel free to share this as well with other people because that would be awesome. I'd love to connect.